Thank you, our viewers. Welcome back to the Kenya Students Christian Fellowship Program. Here we have been tackling an issue on the theme school unrest. As we have gone, as far as we have gone, we have de done the definition types of school unrest, and now we have even done courses. And now we want to know how can we prevent these issues from taking place. Yeah, we, we need to take, we need to make sure that we have, and we need, we need to make sure that we know how to solve them. Yes. Since God gave us brain and the brains are there for us to apply them, yes. is that not true? Is that, that, that is true. Yes. Yeah, we believe we are students in school to make sure that we bring a stop to this. We are students in schools and born again so as to make sure that we make sure none of this issues is rising in kenya you know we love our country so much yes. we, are, we, we are royal to our country so yeah we are the ones who also know our students very much yes. yeah. so in fact when we are resolving this issue mm -hmm. and we are we as christian student fellowship we stand by the bible and we say from the book of jeremiah which tells us now god has sent us to uproot and plant whatever we plant what uproot the wrongs and plant the goods so as we uproot the school hundreds we want our schools to later hand something and achieve something better in future we, we, also, we future. want to be alumni of our schools yeah yes. we want to be the best alumni of our schools yes. that have ever produced that is our work in school as much as the first priority is academics, we also want to make sure that our fellow students are morally upright. And accomplish the mission. And accomplish the mission. Thank you for that. So, what are some of the ways that we can prevent these issues from rising up in our schools? Yes? I think there should be introduction of open forums in our school. This is where students can express what they feel, express their opinions to their teachers. The teachers can also respond to their opinions so that you can get to solve this thing. Remember in Isaiah 1 verse 18 it says, Come let us talk. Here again, we call our teachers so that you can express what you feel about this thing so that you can solve them. Mm -hmm. All of us can solve this thing. Yes. Yeah, we, we believe how opinion does count. How opinion really does count. Exactly. That we need to develop a mode of communication. You know, as long as you feel that the Gaveri of today was not that good, you need to go and tell them, hey, talk to the cooks, banner. This is this food. Yeah? We don't, we, you don't have to, to solve it in, a, in, a, in an organized manner. Cannot just tell ourselves that this delivery was not was not sweet or First of all, when I tell you, how will you sort my issue? You will not sort it because you just tell you to the principal. Just tell you to the principal. Yeah. Okay. Is there any other? Yeah. yeah. Another way of solving the school unrest in school mm -hmm. to introduce strong peer counseling to the students. This is because the students to peer and counsel their the, their fellow students. This is because they are the one who stays with them. They live in one they live in one dormitory. They eat together. They even study in one classroom. So this makes the other students know better, know the other student better than the teacher. So the student can come and guide others to tell them, let us stop doing school unrest. Yeah, it's true. That that I, I concur with her. We we are the we are the ones who know our fellow students very much. The dormitory you sleep in, you know the bet the people better yeah. than even the teacher who is in class. The, only, the teacher only comes from eight, maybe around up to around four, or maybe he can have remedies. Uh, but the teacher doesn't know the students very much. I'm the one who knows my bedmate. Okay, this, this can help even when solving this problem you know the peer pressure influence come from the bad bad company this can help the student when you have bad bad company you can even cancel the student and in a godly way that you tell the student from the book of proverbs chapter 1 verse 8 to 13 says you my son when other people come to you so that you can do evil things resist and don't connect with them so this can help us when we guide others in a godly way so they can know that the the school unrest is a evil 
thing before God. Yeah, and we also know that the devil comes to kill and destroy. That is what he wants yes. to do in our high schools. Yes. And since we are many, we stand and say, no, the devil has no chance. Because, you know, the one who is in us is greater than the one, of the one in the world. Yes. So, yeah, is there any other issue? That, yeah? I think selection of the student's leader should be done by the entirely leaders. Because, as my friends have said earlier on, students know by themselves, no teachers. So teachers, we can give chance, chances to students so that they can select their own leader. In addition to that, I wonder why the country or the students in the country are let down leaders. Yet, as in school, we are chosen, the, the, our teachers choose lead our student leaders for us. Why? Why is it? Why is it that we cannot select these leaders by our own? And students you know ourselves. leaders by our own. So I think we should be fair to each other. Please, teachers, yes. let us do these things by ourselves. But kindly, kindly, us. kindly. Wow. We, we just beg you in the name of God, just give us that chance. We want, we, as much as we're in school, we're also learning. We need to, to learn how to vote. By the time we are out of school, maybe some of us will be over 18 and we need, we are, we will be citizens and we need to know how to vote. Yeah. But the minute the teachers you are choosing for us, yeah. our leaders, how, 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 what kind of citizens are, are you taking out of the, out of the, out of the school compound? Once we know that the responsibility of a citizenship is to participate in democratic public meetings. So, teachers, please allow us to choose our Fellowship our our leaders for our home. Yeah, Thank you. we need we need to do that. Seriously, it is like uh, let, let me not give that example. Mm -hmm. So, is there any other issue? Yeah. Yes, punishment which involve guiding and counseling the student. We do, we have to guide the student. On, we have to counsel the student so that he, when we talk to that child, to that student, he will not repeat the mistake. Then for us, taking the stick and start punishing the student. Yeah, okay. that's true. That's mm. true. In addition to that, punishment. There must be punishment, but you minimize the punishment. You know, sometimes you can punish, you can punish the student, but you punish the student has some as. You don't take the student as a human being, you <laughs> see? So you punish the student as somebody, as human being like you. Yes, you cannot just beat uh, somebody's child like a snake. No, that is not fair at all. You cannot just beat me like I am a donkey. That is not fair at all, yeah. at all, at all. So we should be fair. Yeah, and, and, and as much as we are talking about the issue of discipline, we also need to understand that we, the students must be disciplined yeah. in order to, to not collide with the teachers. You know, collusion is the cause of this. First of all, when I punish you, in reaction, you, 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 you take a stone and break all the windows in the school. That, that's how students react. That's how students react. And we need to make sure that this is not going to happen. Let us learn how to overcome school unrest. And parents, you shall not buy new boxes because our boxes were burnt in the dormitory or, or any other issue. Is, is there any other? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Another way of solving school unrest in school, teachers and parents, don't stress the student to earn a bigger grade that he or she cannot manage. Let's... Let's... Let's make the student do with the grade or the grade that she, he or she can get. So that when the student get that grade and the student had even another talent, he can be he or she can be very happy. Than to stress the student to get a bigger grade. Later when the student fails, you'll find the student going and hanging himself or doing any other things that is not responsible uh, actually to add that on the issue of the school unrest you, you, some of the some of the students are reluctant to do the exams once the, the student has been scoring a very poor grade and the parent is pressuring the, the student the student has has tried to to, to steal the exams but there, there is no he's not even scoring yeah, but the student has gone to music festivals, drama festivals, as he's, and he's stopping, and he's stopping. So, so I, don't need, I don't see the interest of you forcing someone to do something that he's not understanding. 
and we, sh we will be able to make sure that the school and rest we are done with it if we allow our students we give the best to our students and the little they get or the more they get we shall be able they shall be able to they shall not uh, resist the exams yeah uh, i have another uh, uh, students and the teachers should have a efficient communication such that if they have a problem when the students have a problem they can uh, be able to uh, involve the teachers they have, therefore there must be a certain uh, efficient communication between the teachers and the uh, students yeah thank you very much is there any other in addition to that joint effort should be done between teachers parents ministry of education and us as students at yeah. large yeah, and we are ready yes. we are ready so we, we when we join our hands so we can, we can be able to solve this thing yeah. We are willing to change. Yeah. As long as you have our support, you, we have your support, we will be able to change. Yeah, yes. Yes. school and rest. Yeah, that was our topic of the day. Yes. The issue has been school and rest. Yes. And we have been able not to cover all of it. But the ones we have covered, we are sure we, as the students, the teachers, and the school administration on board, we shall be able to cover it from the students from the yeah. from the Kenya students Christian fellowship we say goodbye thank, thank you God bless you see you next time